He's a trader, an investor, an entrepreneur, and the founder of Market Meditations, one of the fastest growing cryptocurrency newsletters. Give a warm welcome to Karush Kagana. The floor is all yours, sir. Take it away. Okay, perfect. Let's get going. Hello, everyone. And um, yeah, I'm honored to be here. So I'm going to start this presentation with some very simple questions. How many of you graduated from school without an understanding of how to invest? Here's another one. How many of you have struggled for years to build the sort of wealth that makes you feel free to do what you want? Judging by the amount of people that consume my content, there's a lot. For those who don't know me, my name is Karush, and I build things that help people build wealth. I found crypto to be a pretty fantastic avenue for this, and that's exactly what we'll focus on for the next 15 minutes. We'll start with a thought experiment to understand what it means to build wealth. Next, we will consider an approach to earn passive income on your assets. Finally, we'll look into tools you can use to build strategies for more direct exposure to the DeFi markets. By the end of this presentation, you'll see that building wealth doesn't need extreme intelligence, mathematical skill, or a ridiculous understanding of the technical side. Instead, you'll see that this space can provide opportunity for everyone to start building wealth today. We'll start with the Ford experiment. Picture two people, two journeys, two lives. The first person is a software engineer getting paid a high wage at $80,000 a year. He works grueling hours and puts $2,000 a month into a traditional savings account that earns 1% a year. The second person is a savvy investor comfortably earning $40,000 a year. He saves $1,000 a month and uses DeFi to generate, say, 10% a year, which for DeFi is quite a conservative estimate right now. Who is truly building wealth here? The engineer earns and saves a lot more, and many of us have been educated and led to believe that this means he's building wealth. But is he really? Let's look at their cash flows over time. The savvy investor puts $1,000 a month to work for him, and the engineer twice as much at $2,000 a month. Remember, the engineer earns 1% a year, and the savvy investor earns 10%. After five years, the engineer will have about $3,000 in interest. The savvy investor will have earned $18,000. At the 10-year mark, the engineer has now earned $13,000, and the savvy investor will have earned about $87,000. That's a $74,000 difference. <laughs> Anyone not convinced yet? Let's look at what happens at the 25-year mark. We got Karush back online. Sorry about that lockdown, folks, but uh, take it back away. Oh, what a disaster. Okay, well, um, had a brief interruption there. I'll just wait for the slides to come back up and then continue the presentation where we left off. There we go. So what we just did was uh, show a compound and uh, show a thought experiment to demonstrate the power of compound interest, which is something that happens when your money makes you money, then that money makes you more money. And so the cycle continues. Uh, understanding the power of compound interest can change the course of our financial lives. To take a quote from Albert Einstein, Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. Now, I've done this Ford experiment before, and people tell me, I'm not an investor, Karush, or Karush, I can't afford to invest. 
Listen, if you hold any cash, you are an investor, whether you like it or not. Cash is an investment that loses about 2% a year. Have you noticed how goods you used to get cheaply are getting more expensive over time? Things you used to get cheaply as a kid are now far more expensive because your cash buys you less as time passes. This negative compound interest melts the value of your money over time. You literally can't afford to not be an investor. The purpose of this was to demonstrate the power of compound interest and to provide you with a new framework for building wealth. And now let's understand why and how the DeFi space gives us access to double, even triple digit returns for those who really know what they're doing. Yields are high right now on account of a few things. Number one, we're removing inefficient middlemen. Where people used to handle your finances and take a big cut for it, we now have computer code that does this. Secondly, there's an inherent risk of human error. We have to trust code written by people. There could be errors in that code. There's a risk of losing our money, and therefore there's going to be more reward attached to it. The next reason is that it can be difficult to use. This is a barrier to entry that makes it more lucrative for those who can cross that barrier and learn how to use it. Finally, companies are paying you for your money. Just like in traditional finance, liquidity is the most valuable thing. So as a way of incentivizing users to come, you are getting high interest rates. We are being rewarded for being early and we should really act with haste. Now, what can we actually earn, earn these high yields on and how? The main way to earn returns is lending either to other people or traders as liquidity. Uh, I will now explore earning interest on various assets. It's a bull market. So many people hold large amounts of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Even though it's not cash, you can still earn double digit interest on this. The easiest way is to use an aggregator. Aggregators compare the market, they look all over the space and find you the best rates. Harvest.finance is a well-known example of this. You can also use aggregator platforms like Zappa.fi to identify you the best rates across multiple different platforms, including aggregators. With all of these platforms though, please note, they come with risk and you need to do your own research but they are a great way to get started without diving into individual platforms. Uh, a shout out to DeFi Dad, who has some of the best free YouTube walkthroughs to get you started on this. So there are a couple platforms and resources to get you earning interest on your crypto, but what many people don't consider are the amazing opportunities with stable coins like USDT or USDC. These are just cryptos that are pegged to the US dollar, a crypto equivalent of holding a US dollar. Lending stable coins can give you great rates ranging from 10 to over 100%. One of my favorite platforms for this is Rary Capital. What's more, we can actually use stable coins as a bull market edge. Uh, let's take a quote from Larry Sermak, director of research at The Block. Coinbase has 1K plus employees, has been around for five plus years, and is going to have a record breaking Q1 in terms of users and revenue. DeFi is still in infancy, and Uniswap is already at a third of Coinbase's valuation. The bull market is probably heated right now. And at some point, hopefully in the far distant future, just like in 2017, the tides will turn. Even if you're certain the prices will go up long-term, what happens when you need to pay rent at the lows? What happens when a family emergency comes up or any event that takes an unexpected toll on your finances? It's really easy for the super rich to tell you just don't worry about it, but most people aren't multimillionaires and can't afford to hold most of their net worth in crypto through a multi-year bear market. I've had messages from people who've turned 2.4 million into $50,000 simply because they held too long in 2017. 
This is where stable coins can really provide us with an edge. It gives us a way of reducing our crypto exposure throughout the bull market while reaping the benefits of the extreme demand for stable coins. So how do we create this bull market edge? Understand that your split between crypto and stable coins will determine your risk. It's a very simple mental model to picture. Crypto is the more volatile asset. This means your net worth is subject to moving up and down a lot. That's a fact. So with high crypto exposure, if the bear market comes, you will lose a lot. If the bull market continues, you will make a lot. Now, now there is no one size fits all approach, but using this as the core principle, I will present two methods to determine what percentage crypto and what percentage stable coins we want to hold. The first method requires you to set a clear target. Say $200,000 of assets gives you freedom and changes your life. Why wouldn't you reduce volatility as you approach that level? That means the closer you get to your target, the less crypto you hold and the more stable coins you hold. The second method is just to reduce your crypto exposure every month. The bull market has an end date. Every day we get closer to it. So instead of using a set target, we can assume that the probability of the bull market ending increases, and it makes sense to somewhat increase stablecoin exposure and reduce crypto exposure naturally over time. Thanks to these crazy yields, we now have this unique opportunity to earn great returns in the bull market while reducing our direct exposure, a powerful tool that I hope helps. Uh, now let's begin to talk about the tools we can use to build an edge in the DeFi market as a whole. Firstly, risk management and psychology are essential. However good your investing strategies are, you need the mental capacity to carry them out and the risk management to survive. The next tool is technical analysis. This is a tool that lets you study price data to inform your decisions and is very commonly used. For risk management, psychology, and technical analysis, you can find complete courses on my YouTube, which are entirely free if you want to learn more. Next, we can look to fundamental analysis. You can research, learn, and study, but there are a few things I like to do specifically beyond that. Dive into Twitter, Discords, and Telegrams. You can gauge the founders of the projects, interact with the community, and get a real temperature for the type of people involved in this project. Twitter is the easiest place to start with all of this. You can follow me or anyone else you like, ask questions, add value, share your journey, and make friends. Giving without expectation is the best and most profitable way to navigate this space. Also, use the products. You'll see firsthand what the product is like. And as a bonus, when trying these platforms, you might even get an airdrop. This is where the platform distributes its token across the users at no cost, just like Uniswap did. People have made up to $10,000 just trying the right projects at the right time. Uh, the next fantastic tool to build an edge is on-chain analytics. The beauty of DeFi is its transparency. You can actually see what the largest players in the markets are doing and use their actions to influence your own decisions. Nansen.ai is a great place to get started for this. Next, market narratives are the last tool to focus on. Stay updated with the markets every single day to get a feel for the trending narratives. 2017, we had the hot narrative, the next Ethereum narrative. It was powerful. ICX was the Korean Ethereum. NEO was the Chinese Ethereum. Both of these coins and several others like it went up over 100 times their value. This time around, I wanted to do more to stay up to date with the markets. I hired a team of researchers to search the web and summarize the most important events for me. The product was incredibly useful, so I turned it into a free newsletter so others can benefit. It's called Market Meditations. Current hot narratives include NFTs, cheaper and faster Ethereums like Binance Smart Chain or Solana. Exchange tokens are also a narrative thanks to the Coinbase Direct listing. 
And of course, DeFi is a powerful narrative. You can even look for narratives within DeFi, like aggregators, insurance protocols, or even exchanges. Risk management, psychology, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, on-chain analytics, and market narratives are all great tools that the best traders and investors use. There's no shortcut or holy grail here. Anyone who tells you otherwise is trying to sell you something. Any one of these techniques take a lot of work and energy. You don't need all of the tools, but any one of them can really help you find an edge in this market. To recap, understanding the power of compound interest is an essential first step to building wealth. Once we understand this, we can look to opportunities to earn high yields, such as on our crypto and stablecoin assets. We can use stablecoin yields in particular to create a bull market edge by reducing our crypto exposure and simultaneously benefiting from the high interest rates. In terms of building an edge in the DeFi market as a whole, I've shared six main tools and there are plenty of free resources to learn them. I've only been able to touch the surface of how we can build wealth together. If you want to learn more, or want detail on anything we've covered, you can find me on Twitter, at Karush AK. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for listening. And let's continue to revolutionize finance together. Wise words for the audience, special, especially the new audience to crypto. Um, they have quite a few questions. We're running out of time, but I've got a couple of quick ones for you. Um, this one coming to us from an anonymous viewer. How does a beginner in crypto with limited funds get into the world of DeFi? What's the first steps for, for somebody new to this place? Because it, it, even though things are getting easier, it's still pretty darn intimidating for a first time user. What's step number one? Arush, are you still with us? Hear me, like shake hats or. Okay, so um, I, I just logged on to the Blockdown conference to listen to that. I think there's a slight delay, but I'm going to answer the last question that was asked, which is how does a beginner who knows absolutely nothing get started in this space? Now, it's a common question that I do get asked. and I'd say the first thing to do is um, understand the theory a little bit. Now, this is a problem and why we made market meditations. We've got a Bitcoin 101 guide on there, which can get someone started from zero to earning interest on their crypto. So it's a comprehensive guide. But beyond that, find a one spot app, something like crypto.com, where you can start from the beginning to doing every single thing from earning interest to NFTs and all over the place. Like the best way to learn is diving straight into it. Like the wake up moment for most people with DeFi is when they use it and then have to go to a bank and see the difference between borrowing or lending on DeFi versus having to go to a bank or even using a P2P um, lending platform.